What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Let It Ride, your premier VV podcast slash YouTube channel slash your two best friends. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Cam Germain. I am co host of Let It Ride. <laughs> Yeah, we figured uh, might as well jump on here. We got a lot of a lot of new stuff we talk about. Yeah, there's drops. been a lot going on in the uh, VV community since we were last here. There's been a bunch of drops. How was your? Uh, well, we got it. We got a lot. How was your success with the drops? I don't even I see if we can sum up. Yeah, you've had not you've had not a great week in the That's drop world, street. right? Cold, cold, cold for me. Yeah, I uh, I've actually been doing well getting them they haven't been great until today did scoop an ultra rare very low mint sub a thousand um i did get an x-men the other day on thanksgiving that was good i had the hawkeye but then the app glitched out on me so that was disappointing that helped you get a comic the next day right yeah but yeah, no, I've been I've been okay. I, oh, I was due for an ultra. I had like four or five commons in a row. I was due. I needed it. Yeah, we yeah. also found out today this uh the eco my wiki unofficial just went back up. It's pretty cool. Cam, you see my screen, right? Yeah, I'm seeing it. But yeah, we're pretty disappointed here about this storm. Went this is forward. one I called called from the get go. But you know, we can't resist. You can't resist. I had a feeling that it was either but this bust. Is, this is the first time I'm looking at this. Wow, C-3PO is down big. Yeah, all the all the Disneys are taking a huge hit. I'm, I think my Wally was in, back in the 400s. Remember when uh, Cam yeah. flipped this Spidey for a quick 35? Cap. $5 loss. I took a, I took a watch. Oh, yeah. Me. Oh, yeah I meant to. Doom is on my list. I mean, you guys got to pick up Doom now. I know, but I don't have the the money. I I got an ultra rare that I could sell for maybe four fifty, and I could just buy Doom. But if I had this X Men, if X Men become big in the coming future, then maybe my comic book value will go up, and the comic market's also just super bare right now. Is this? I think this is the Spider Man. That's element. the one you have. That's the one you have. Yeah. Damn, we're taking a big hit. Everywhere. Yeah, dude. Com- that's why I don't want to sell right now. Like, it seems like a terrible time to sell in the comic market. Yeah. Also, so. kind of. All right, just checking out VV here. Oh, I saw also Endgame's trending. Spidey. Spidey. Dude, everything. Uh, What's Endgame trending for? I don't even know. Because it has now. Um, new oh, you know why? To- Is yeah, that's why the um right the pre-sales yeah. We're pumped about that. Can't wait to see what they drop on that day. It's going to be so funny when, like, all the COVID box office numbers have just been so scattered, abysmal since COVID. All these box numbers, Black Widow, Shang-Chi, then Spidey's going to come back and COVID's just not going to exist anymore. Like, they're just going to, there's a fine line. Like, yeah, we care about COVID with, like, Shang-Chi and Eternals and Black Widow, but, like, Spider-Man, yeah, COVID doesn't exist anymore. And back, back to over 150 million opening weekend. That would be hysterical. Thursday, we got Spider-Man Ultimate. I don't know if you ever... I kind of watched this Ultimate show a little bit when I was little, when I was younger. Uh, like, I, like, I know I got a bunch of Spidey comics, but I don't think... I didn't recognize the Ultimate. I don't think I've read any of these. They look... I mean, I don't even know what to think of. If I mean, they obviously have to be more recent. I just don't know how recent they are. Well, no we'll idea. Going for it, that's for sure. But Spidey content... Is never sold. Never. Let's pull up uh, that little MTL action. All this stuff is so cool. These people posting stuff. I mean, this is only the VV account, but on any anywhere on Twitter, I get so many tweets, and I'm just on my timeline of people I don't even follow. But if they have a red circle, they just find their way to my timeline, and it's always about how the price of Omi is going to a thousand dollars and all this nonsense. My boy Andre up there. Uh, what do we, where do we have? Where's the medium article? I would probably look up Omi Utility if you're trying to find it. Yeah. Utility. There we go. I'm a Google wizard, by the way. <laughs> All right. 
but they're already so i guess so notice that was like 0 0.1 instead of like 1.0 oh, yeah, i guess is the know. typical and but they already said zero or they said 0 0.2 is already underway oh yeah they know they're taking a lot yeah. of feedback too which is awesome oh yeah yeah but yeah so we found out we're getting the staking program you can be able to trade with omi on the marketplace you can be able to raffle off your omi not all people drops. Yes, not all people will be able to. Yeah, not all people <laughs> can, though, which could change, though, subject to change. Yeah, so basically, we got these tiers here, which is pretty awesome. The names, at least, Omi Homie. That's Cam's private story name. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, my Omi Homies. That's kind of crazy. I, mean, I forgot that's about a, that. That's the name of my, my headphones, the Omi yeah. Homies. But yeah, we are also proud Omi Hodlers. Yeah, we're not selling anytime soon, even though I, so I, although not by staking, but by, I'm going to give myself, I'll give myself the term O millionaire. I did recently basically cross the O millionaire threshold holding uh, a million Omi. Technically I'm 18 short, but at 999,982, we will, uh, we'll say close enough, but in the staking world means nothing as of right now. So yeah. soon, soon no. Cam and I had a little a uh, little battle. We used to go back and forth going over going over 900. <laughs> when that 900, he blew blew past me. I uh, I got I got impatient and Omi also just recently tanked to below 0. 0.005 and I figured why not gamble. So, but I am officially done buying Omi for the foreseeable future barring any absolute collapse, which at the moment seems unlikely with staking coming with MTL coming this December 3rd. Apparently there's something big going on in the VV world on December 3rd. Andre Jake is, did something out there. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. I'm sure you are, but something, something's coming. We don't know something's what. Something's brewing. That's a Friday, right? So there's still a drop on Thursday as normal, and then something's yep. happening Friday that's going to turn the VV world upside down, potentially. Yeah, but anyways, basically there's different tiers here of the staking, which we learned about today. Uh, Explain what staking is for so, people who are yeah. six years old, like myself. <laughs> so staking, basically, you're essentially locking up your token. So say they do, depending on how long they do a staking period. So for here, it's 30 days. So essentially, you'd lock up $1,000 worth of OMI for 30 days, and you wouldn't be able to trade or sell or use any of those. So you're essentially taking them off the table. Right. Out of um, circulation. That was the term. Right. Yeah. Take them out of circulation, which effectively reduces the uh, circulating supply, which hypothetically, based on all the tokenomics and all that fancy stuff, that will cause the OMI price to increase. Right. And the incentive is to do this to all the OMI whales, to everyone that's holding OMI, a lot of people that are holding OMI, and for the long term, to put their money away here and they want to um, incentivize you to do that. And that's what we have over here on the right side. So you get a profile badge, uh, accessory purchase, premium market listings, a bonus points, I'm guessing on master collector programs too. Yeah, that's, um, that's very vague. A percent bonus on all points earned like that. Nobody knows what that means. I, I think they went a little bit further in depth um, during the AMA. Oh, okay. But as of off of this sheet, it is very vague. Yeah. But essentially, you have to lock up $1,000 worth of OMI, and it's a progressive tier system. So, like, you have the 1000 here, you have to put it in, wait the 30 days, and then you can do the get jump to tier two and then put 5000 in. No, or you, want, you can pay 1250 right? So right. that 250 just gets you, just blows you right past the first tier, which a lot of people, I imagine, will do. And that, that blow you past, that 250 of OMI is supposedly going to be gone straight forever. straight gone forever right yeah. into the uh into the reserve the wallet that's locked up yeah so it is pretty cool i'm assuming there's going to be a large majority of people in this tier two range yeah it's a um, tier two probably the most populated i guess but this is where it gets cool in tier three where now you're allowed to you know Get an only one, only one Kenobi 3D badge and renting collectibles, which is really crazy to see that it's even on there right now because the VV verse and all that is very far out in advance. I think that might move down a tier by the time 
this is all said and done. I think that's just such an incentive for people to do. Yep. Like, yep. I just think that has to be more accessible to other people. And yeah, that will do so, so much good for VV and Omi at the same time, I'd imagine. Like, that mm-hmm. just has to be accessible. More, maybe not to everybody, but even just tier two, like, or even A tier. There are going to be a bunch of people who don't even snake it, right? So I would say. I personally feel like the majority of people that are involved in this project right now are going to stake their tokens and are going to be in it for the long way. Cause yeah, but what about the people, like, but what about the people who like find out about Omi when it gets on the Robin hood and then like, are they going to be staking their Omi? Like we're thinking of the OGs, which we are right now, even though, even though we don't seem like it, like <laughs> there's still so many more people who don't know what this is. Like I'd imagine those kind of people won't be staking their Omi. So, I mean, maybe like, Maybe they will, but like I imagine, like once the general public, if this gets as big as we think, that uh, maybe it should just be more accessible to other people. I don't know. Just a thought. It definitely going. We it's probably going on some exchanges. Where it's right now, it's November thirtieth in the U.S. Well, nothing, uh, and we're we got a big thing coming the third of December. Four days. We think. We think supposedly <laughs> we could be getting exchanges. We could we could be getting something. Something's coming. Anyways, I think it's VV related. I would say it's not Immutable X. Like, I, what would Andre have to do with Immutable X? You know what I mean? I think he's more VV. I mean, obviously, he's an Omi, but, like, I don't think he'd be the one to drop the Immutable X. I think that'd be crazy well, for yeah, him to Andre do that. definitely would not. He, there's definitely some kind of big collaboration that he's involved yeah. with. Yeah. Um, him, he, he's – I kind of hope it's Pokemon. <laughs> not nah, too early. I mean, yeah, Andre, Andre grew up on the Pokemon grind. He was big Pokemon. Uh, there so. is a, I mean, there's Randy Chavez rumor. So I don't even know if it's classified as a rumor, um, but he's a, I guess Logan Paul is a Pokemon guy. Yep. And apparently he's got, he had some NDA that ended like today. I don't know what that NDA was about. I didn't really know anything in details, but essentially like, essentially Logan Paul is on the table and uh, like, I don't know too much more about it but i know randy was like oh logan let's come come talk about pokemon i'm sure randy will pitch omi to him like he has every oh, single person logan, logan is aware of omi and aware of Vivi. we know this how he he was previously he was talked about vv on his podcast really yeah like way back early days oh so apparently he's on the he's a free agent now best as i can tell yeah. now this nda is up <laughs> essentially he's on the open market so uh a Logan Paul, Logan Paul collaboration. Logan I don't think Paul, that. I don't think. Vivi collab. I don't think Andre is tied in with that. But who knows? Who knows? If the real Ronde Chavez hooks it up. Can we're happen. speaking of real Ronde Chavez. Randy's got what about eight hundred thousand USD in Omi? Like, oh no, he it's lower than that. It's lower than that. I watched one of his videos and like it tanked down to like 400. I think he lost 400 K. So he's probably at like 500,000. Like, well, even like, so there's gotta be a tear for him. Like this, this should yeah, be like, no, there. Yeah. For the big, big dog mm-hmm. whales, like $10,000 just isn't enough. Like it's and just on not. top of this, we're getting MTL. Like MTL is this week. We've seen screenshots of people on Twitter because, you know, they're releasing it slowly and more slowly, you know, just to, you know, reduce the amount of people on, which is sick. And, but it's just awesome seeing people actually go through that KYC process already and just like getting excited, even though it's not here for me yet, but it's not here for us yet, but soon to just playing on the, uh, you know, VV market floor prices and seeing that nice little USD. I don't know, maybe I'll flip a Spidey comic and get a, buy some more Omi, who knows? I don't know. It's it's so interesting. I, I mean, I imagine prices are just going to tank, which makes me want to sell now. But at the same time, like once they recover from that, like it'll be the prices it'll be are taking just going in dips and swings, like ridiculous. Yeah. It's uh, it's been quite the ride this past. I mean, hell, this past month, I think Omi's down twenty five percent. So oh, I mean, yeah. it's Easy. it's been brutal. Let's take a look at um. Even though it's a partner statue. Yeah, that's I mean it's just getting absolute, killed. Absolute hammer. It's getting killed. How's my uh my Spider-Man? That's even my common Spider-Man's the only the spider spider mans the only thing in my vault that's been doing well. Did you grab the zombie spot out of the OG Spidey? I got the well the the uh the OG common? yeah so the common, yep. 
the OG spike? No, no, 198, bro. He was at 230 yesterday. So, I mean, everything's just tanking. Yeah. This is a nice one, though. It's very pretty. Yeah. Well, he's he's what you get when you open up the VV app. Yeah. It's the classic. It used to be, used to be um, the Todd Batman. Yeah. Now it's Spider Man. So, this. C3 yeah, Pro everything is absolutely ridiculous. I don't get why people are selling. Like, the fact that just the camp care. is up so high is nuts. That's the common why they're on the market for 45. I should have bought them. Common stamp. Zombie Spider Man, he's back in the maybe. He's back that, in the green. So, so maybe that's where Storm is heading eventually. 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 Dr. Doom down to 420. Yeah, that's wild. Jeez. Pre uh, last sale was 399. Wow. Oh god. I, I mean, if I can everyone watching, I bought this at 550. So if I can if I can sell my my comic, then I don't know. It's close. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to sell it. Wow. But thank you to whoever who made this website. I don't know. But this is this is awesome. Yeah, it's um it's actually unbelievable. Oh, uh, look at this. You had chosen to invest ten thousand and owe me ten thousand yeah. dollars. Your investments were staggering. You know, I can't wait it's to a nightmare. This. Coinbase, Kraken. <laughs> yeah, we need to say if it says Coinbase, we'll be in a oh, good wow. much better spot. They really put this site together great. This is awesome. Yeah, the updates and everything. Immutable action. I think the Twitter is like Omi the Clown or something like that. I think could be totally wrong, but it looks somewhat oh, all these Omi pages you follow. Who knows? I don't even know. Do I follow this one? I don't know. No, nah, I just know. I Taps just know. Follow, Taps follows them though. Yeah, and so does the Akomi page. No, this is cool. Is this him? Yeah, it's him. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have a lot of stuff coming. Definitely not too late to jump in if you're not in it. Oh, it's so um, not. I sent I sent the uh, screenshots of the uh, MTL to my buddy, who's reluctant to get in due to the lack of MTL, and he was he was definitely interested. So things are. I think the the number of users would I would imagine another big increase now that people can actually get money for what they're doing. So, and today that's why everyone's doing it. So, yeah, I'm just be, I'm excited for some Star Wars content. God, I'd imagine that every drop during the month of December is going to be Spider-Man related. I think it'd That's be crazy fair. not to do that. Another Marvel month? Another so, Marvel I mean, month? I don't even know if this is considered. I think it's just going to be a Spider-Man month, at least until Christmas time. Like, yeah, until the they release out. Craven the Hunter, baby. <laughs> or, well, Kingpin stuff for the Hawkeye finale. Who knows? Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't gotten any Hawkeye stuff yet. That's cool. Well, I mean, they did the got one. the comic. They did two drops. Yeah, but no statue. Hawkeye. No collectibles, though, right? I mean, the comics they, are cool they, and all, but I'm, I think I like the collectibles better. Comics, to me, are just, like, feel like a money grab, except for the Spider-Man ones, but... Yeah, they're definitely... Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Apparently, the app actually updated. There's, like, a tilt feature. I don't know if I actually yep. sent it in or not to the chat. Yeah, I haven't tried I haven't it yet. That. It looks cool. I have to but check you, have it out. The, you, have, you have the theory with Jack to not open the comic books, right? Yeah, I don't want to open them. I feel like they're going to... They're going to put that into effect that if they're open, they're uh, it's interesting. It's definitely possible. It's not confirmed yet, but I think that'd be pretty dirty to all the users who have been reading the comments. I'm saying they might, they might try and they might say, all right, from now on, they might like reseal everyone's comic or something like that. I don't yeah. know. I'm just kind of, <laughs> I don't know, but I just feel like that just so in incentivizes people not to hold them. To like at least them, if right. you're holding them, you can read them, but like, yeah, I agree. So I feel like, and they don't, and they want people to hold stuff. They don't want flip. They don't like the flipper as much. Mm -hmm. They've made that pretty clear. So yeah, they want people that are in it. Right. Well, yeah, definitely interesting. Definitely, interesting. definitely interesting. Nobody. So did you didn't get the drop today? No, nothing. So you, what did, so what was your, 
style were you clicking it like one two three four like a bunch before? yeah i was doing the the line gate if you guys are aware of that just to i don't know it's, it's hit or miss with that i mean that's how i got that's how i grabbed c3 field during disney week i don't know maybe i think in my bandwidth it's just down was stretched too far i think my my dad was downstairs on a call so mm. i couldn't sit on top of the router I uh, I still I only hit it once. Like once the buy now shows up, I just I just hit it once. So not not successful at all during design account now. So there are there are different ways to go about it. Right. That's for sure. Like Cam Cam has been grabbing them. The last you grabbed the last two, right? Last two comments. I've, I've gotten at least the last three. I think I got today. I got the X Men on Thanksgiving. I got yep. one of the Hawkeyes. Yeah. So I haven't. I didn't get any of those. So I'm basically over three. But I yeah. went. I went three for three for 15 on comic con slash Disney. So, right. I mean, I had, what did I have? I had the first Hawkeye, but then that was when my thing glitched out. And then I had the next event, young Avengers, which is for the girl, Kate Bishop. And then I had, yeah, X-Men Thanksgiving. Then I had this one. So I, I've been hot. I've been running hot. Finally got an ultra rare, but still waiting on that secret. Rare. I, I think it's only fate that it'll be a Spider-Man now when I get the secret rare. I think that's, oh, that's imagine it. waking up. Thursday morning, Spidey at night, popping a little secret rare before you head out. No, that, that would be pretty electric the day of the movie. I'm sure they'll have a drop that day, no doubt. So no doubt Thursday. it's gonna be gonna be Toby McGuire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland right on the <laughs> A Toby collectible. That'd be so I want them to release a ticket. Yeah, they might. I mean, I don't know. I feel like Another that's just James so... Bond-style ticket. Who knows? They're going to copy AMC? Like, that's the... I mean, they, the were, they did it first. I mean, James they did Bond, do it, they did it first. The James Bond tickets. BV did, BV did do it first. Absolutely. So, BV did all this first, and that's why we're here. Right. Exactly. But, I mean, we'll see. We'll probably catch up with you guys maybe some point later this week. If not, definitely Sunday after we hear this uh supposedly 12-3 date oh yeah 100 percent. we will be heard from by the end of the week no doubt so no doubt. i'm know. going in and out of darkness here this video is going to look so funny when it's posted i don't know if it's just the lighting in here or what <laughs> we'll see <laughs> we'll see all right all right well, adios cam you want to send us off here yeah sure all right well thank you for tuning in to another episode of let it ride i am cam germain and who are you I am Brendan. Do you just hands up? All right. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next week post December 3rd news. Hopefully, big things coming. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Yeah.